What up, it's your boy T Bear here with new reaction. Happy Halloween, first off, though. Rocking a dude chain, the most I can do right now because I ain't really feel like doing costumes this year, though. Um, I had a lot of things going on this year to, to feel like doing co doing costumes or any kind of celebrations of Halloween. So, I'm just but I will keep the Halloween going with some Halloween reaction vid. So, I rock this is on right now on my TV on my side by channel. This is a Watch Mojo Top 10 is dedicated to my all time favorite horror movie character of all time, Freddy Krueger. I am a big fan of Nightmare on the Street. I got all, every single Nightmare on the Street from the first one to the Freddy's Dead, even the West Craven New Nightmare. You know, that's not my favorite because I got the book, came to Bob Collection. I got Freddy vs. Jason. I got the, re, the, the reboot or anything. Only thing I ain't got is the damn. That ass shitty ass uh, TV show. But other than that, this is the top 10 Freddy Krueger kills. I wonder who will make this count done though, because all the Freddy Krueger kills was cool as fuck. Crazy as shit, though, but cool as fuck, though. I mean, Freddy Krueger was a savage, so let's see these top 10 Freddy Krueger kills, though. <laughs> Oh, you turn, I mean, uh, do you turn to Freddy? Whatever you do, <sighs> don't fall asleep. Uh -huh. That shit is crazy as fuck. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Oh, and today we're counting down oh, our picks for the top 10 Freddy Krueger kills. For this list, we've considered all movies from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise and any other film editions that feature the ragged faced bad guy mm. and have chosen his uh, most uh, piece of... and memorable kills. Hey, hey, hey Ricky and the pizza that he already killed him already. <laughs> I love so food. So food. Mm. Number 10. Wedding the Bed. A Nightmare on <laughs> the Dream Master. Yo. <laughs> this tip brings a whole new meaning to the term wet dream. Staring mm -hmm. at an attractive picture of a woman right before nodding off leads young Joey into what appears to be a fantasy filled dream. Yeah, he's going to get in trouble with some female. He almost got killed last week because of a female. Oh, yeah, because the girl's naked in the, in the water, water bed, that's why. But Freddy will soon dispel this lovely mirage burst through the water's surface, and take Joey for a swim, creating one hell of a bloodbath. Literally. That was a fuck up shit, dude. Oh, why I gotta freeze up? Nah, hell nah. I don't appreciate that shit freezing up on a Freddy. It's not going to freeze up on me. No, no. I refuse to let any of my videos freeze up on this top 10. Run that back a little bit. I don't care. They should have shown when he was under, under, under the water in the bed. Imagine being in a comic mm -hmm. book and the well, it may not be as cool as you think. That's what one fanboy finds out when he becomes a character in his own beloved fiction. <laughs> but it does have its advantages. Mark soon discovers he can become a superhero, allowing him to gun Freddy down as the Phantom Prowler. Time to die, you scar-faced lip dick. <laughs> but wait, this is Kruger we're talking about. And he soon hits back as a supervillain and shreds our team like mm -hmm. a salad. And in reality, all the, it, the main reason we that all the uh, bookshelf fell here. This was a fucked up ad. This was pretty fucked up. One of whom is her mother. This had to be one of the most fucked up dust killers on here. Her waiter into her dream. <laughs> 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 so, Freddie 
Freddy decides to give her a helping hand by force feeding her, using his rusted claw as cutlery. Force feeding her salt. And if that wasn't bad enough, the food she's being fed turns out to be the food from her own stomach. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that freaky bit at the end with the fridge? Yikes. Yeah, I know. That was almost that that had me all up. I don't think I'd be one of the most fucked up kills out of all the Freddy. Number seven, shooting up a nightmare. <laughs> and that's the this is the one that's on right now too. I didn't see that zip scene. Trip, we see Taryn go toe to toe with Freddy in a good old knife fight. Okay, asshole. Let's dance. I didn't see that part too. Armed with two stilettos and swinging for her life, it seems she's a match for our nemesis as she lands a shot on him. But Freddy soon lives up to his nightmarish resume and presents our ex drug addict. Oh, what is your name? Love saying it. He says, Let's get high. She'll love hear say it. The way he said it. Let's get high. Hold on, hold on. We don't know what's worse the finger syringes or those weird drug hungry mouths on her arm. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. Number six Need for Speed. A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'll give him this one. Terminal Man, the Ghost Rider. Dan's catching 40 wings when he sees Freddy appear as somewhat of an unsettled passenger in his truck. After Freddy spits acid champagne on the dashboard, Dan is then attacked by his seatbelt, thrown through his windshield, then later zombified by a possessed motorbike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. That shit is crazy, too. But it's a head-on collision with another truck that finally dispenses him. <laughs> Number five. Ah! Uh, this shit is the one, one truthfully. This is the number one, truthfully, but let's see what's number one, though. Ever had a mattress that just doesn't quite sit right with you? Well, our victim, Glenn, played by a young Johnny Depp. To this day, we always wonder, what the fuck did he do to him for all this shit to happen? Catching some shut-eye while lying on his bed with his TV. Glenn this one's him in the one. In the center of his bed by the Cause we was wondering, what Guess the fuck who? did he do to him for this to happen? The oh, they have blood! Utterly what the fuck did he do? The and fountain of blood that follows is glorious. From a horror movie perspective, anyway. Wait, <laughs> dude! What the hell is this? It's an uncut version of this where, oh, where I was like, we're on the internet where at where Glenn rises up at the water bloods and falls to the bed. They should have showed that part in, at, uh, on the uh, movie. That hasn't been pretty cool to see that happen. Number four, Ragdoll, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, the first one. The first hit. First, the very first kill of all kills. For many lovers of the franchise, this one will always be branded into their minds. The very first. When Tina goes strolling around her nightmare following strange sounds, she the encounters very first kill a creepy kills. snake armed Freddy who later cuts off his fingers. <laughs> yeah, you gotta throw in the very first kill of all but kills in it's this. It's not necessarily the nightmare that earns this a place on this list, it's the true life consequences that do. As she is thrashed around her bedroom like a rag doll, with her clothes becoming increasingly drenched in blood. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Prime time, bitch. A nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Anyone ever tell you that watching too much TV is this bad? This is that was on the top five. Whoever did. Close to the top one. I still think Glenn should be the one, but I can't see Liz the one. While Jennifer is watching a late night talk show, Freddy suddenly appears on screen. Can I ask you something? Who gives a fuck with you? Who gives a fuck? She walks up close to try to fix it. It sprouts arms and a familiar face before grabbing her. 
smashing her head into the screen. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna watch right now. I, just, I see it because I got it. Schwarzenegger would be proud of. Time, bitch. <laughs> Oh, that, this, I take back the one I said, but all right, I take back the one about the stomach, the stomach one. This had to be the most fucked up of kills. Arguably one of Freddy's coolest and most erratic creations, Debbie's nightmare. This had to be the most fucked up one at all, though. While working out, Freddy decides to give her a hand on the weights. <laughs> I don't believe in you. I believe in you. Forcing it down, he no soon pain. snaps her arms like no wishbones. No pain. No pain. What follows is strange evolutionary torture as Debbie slowly this transforms so into fuck. a cockroach. That was so fucked up. <laughs> now one about the number one. Hope they got auto mission too. Just as one may do go. with a cockroach, he squishes her. Before we yeah. reveal our top Ooh, kill, this is a good album mission right here. Honorable mentions. This was a good album mission. I give that to him. This definitely deserved album mission right there. That was creative, creative right? How he did that? Fucked up, but creative. You know, Freddy did have some. Oh, this was fucked up too. One of the most fucked up one, but this was fucked up. That was fucked up. That one was fucked up. And she's bad as shit too. That was fucked up. That was crazy. He did. Yeah, that was crazy right there. Oh, this is <laughs> this was actually funny as shit. That does that's funny as shit. Now, what's number one? Number one, Puppet Master, A Nightmare on hey, Earth. What? Dream Warriors. I would put it number one, boy. We know he's the bad guy and all, but I've he been top ten, but not number he one though. For this one. Although he metaphorically plays the Puppet Master of the Dream Realm. He takes it to a literal whole new level. Mm. When he rips Philip's tendons. I wanted to call it, put this at number one. Style. I mean, it was fucked the way he did it, but. Because that was kind of like weak. Because I could just fell edge. off. While I guess the scene was kind of like below, top. Then but... decides to cut the puppet master's strings. Yeah. That's all he did is fell off and shit. It's fucked up, but still. I want to say that number one. Top 10, but not number one. Oh yeah! By the finger blade wielding madman. That's the new one. I Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Give me strength. All right, this was good, but for number one, I wanted to put that shit at number one. I would have said, uh, I would have said the Glenn one could have been number one. The the pop match one I said would be a top ten, but I want to be, I want to want to be said to be number one though. It's going right now too. I told you, I got Memory of Street Three is on Sci Fi Channel. I was wondering why the why it's so dark. It's like it's like they took the original original on remastered version, put it on here because it's so dark. But anyway, that was a good top ten. Just. I uh, just did well, number one. I made a little head scratch from that one though. But even but, but yeah, all than that, it was good though. Some 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 flashbacks on depths that was pretty good. And Mario had some fucked up some depths one. Like the what was it? The the when um Greta got killed eating her own stomach. That was pretty fucked up. Oh, uh, but yeah, the the workout one, the no pain again. That to be most one of the most fucked up deaths is. First, you break her arms in two, and then turn to a cockroach and swash her. That was some fucked up shit. And then the other one is our mission. I think I should have been on top ten, truthfully, because that was pretty fucked up. Was the suck face? He did my girl uh, Sheila dirty. He did Sheila so dirty. He was so beautiful, beautiful geek. She was just a beautiful nerdy chick, and he just did that to her because he had ad took advantage of her asthma. That was so fucked up. But anyway. 
Happy Halloween. It's your boy T-Bear. If you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.